Atlanta, Georgia, demanding uh, to see the, the presi President Obama's birth certificate. I think the laws, I think I guess the laws who were filed by David, uh, uh, what's his name, David Farah, and the chief, uh, deputy chief uh, judge uh, Michael Mal 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 Malahi was the one that said that he wants to see Obama in his uh, courtroom tomorrow, Thursday, to actually prove that uh, he's a uh, born citizen of this country. Where are we going with this, with this better again? We are seeing worst president that have ruled this country because the why nobody has ever asked for their birth certificate. Where are we going with this place, these people? You know, do we want to talk about the history of this country in a little bit? Which I, I know a lot of you know much about. The first person to come to these countries, the first people that come that came to this country are the Indians. If Indians don't ask for birth certificate, I don't think any other person has the right to ask for birth certificate. It doesn't matter if you're white or green, it does not matter. You know, we all came from somewhere. People migrated from Europe. People came from different parts of the world. For you to be asking the President of the United States, President Obama, for his best certificate job because he's black, is nonsense. Why not find something else to do? Because the country is crying. We broke. We, you know, the high unemployment rate. We're thinking about how to solve all this problem. You, you want to bring the country backward? We know Georgia, Kentucky, all those, Osaka, and all those are southern side of the country that still believe in uh, open racism. But guess what? It's not going to happen again. You know, when blacks were forced to come to this country, shackled, killed, raped, and every bad thing you can think of happened to them. You throwing it in their face every time. I don't know what it's going to bring. But people are tired of it. Not every white man, white woman out there are racist. You know, a lot of, some of you are still, you know, just in that uh, part of life thinking, Racism is going to come back again, an open way where you can pull, uh, bash somebody's forehead and pull Billy in his forehead. It's not going to happen. Why not just get away with it? You are saying the president of the United States for his birth certificate. Why not I ask you for your birth certificate? You, pro you prove your birth certificate. You know, nobody, apart from the Indians, have the right to ask no anybody about birth certificate. It doesn't matter if you call yourself white. You know, I don't want to insult people who are decent for the tennis. This color blindness need to go away. You know, people call me black man. If you look at my color, my actual color is brown. You know, you look at yourself as a white man. Is your actual color of white? No. Because we get that from the world dictionary. You know, to fit into your own world. Come on, people. It's about time we kind of like, let that thing rest. You know, let life fulfill they are human too. Don't make them feel as a second a class a citizen. You know? You you know, like I did a show the other day about, you know, Santorium and the New Greenwich. Come on. To me, it's like uh, when they talk about full stamp and all the rest about black people, we don't want to take from people and give it to black people. You know that there are still some segment of white people out there, racist white people that still believe Oh, because he said that we're going to vote for him. Oh, yeah, he don't like black people. Come on, black people are not the problem. The racist world we live in today is the problem. The international world are looking at us are like, ah, these people, they want to police the whole world. They want to, you know, show the world the other side of, you know, righteousness, but they are doing worse than, you know, uh, third world country. Third world country don't even live like this. America, the greatest country in the whole world, you should, should you show a sign of racism every day, and you want somebody to follow your footsteps. I don't think that's going to work like that. Do you guys just forgot that quick when uh, President Bush and Dick Cheney, when they were in power? Do you know, can you guys remember what happened? People cannot even leave this country for another country without being, you know, lynched or some somebody threatening them. Do we still have that problem today? That is because of this president. Did you see what he did on uh, uh, yesterday on his uh, the day he made uh, his uh, State of the Union address? He rescued two Americans that was uh, uh, captured by uh, Somalian Somalian pirate. 
Do you guys even know about that one? Man, this man is doing a lot for us. Forget about the color of his skin and just support him. You know? I don't say don't criticize if he do something wrong, but not about his race. If he was actual if he's actually a US citizen. If you can ask a white man that kind of question, it will, it will be a fair question. This is a question that has never been asked in this country before. Because it's white man. You know? We're tired of it. Let's bring the country together, not divide the country. Okay? Let's forget about the word of, uh, you know, whatever you guys used to call it, who calls clown? It's, that should be outdated by now. We're all human. You're not better than me, I'm not better than you. Let's unite, you know, one another. Let's unite the country and let everybody treat each other fairly. You know, judge people by what they do, not by the color of their skin, please. Okay? You take care of yourself, man, and God bless.